What is going on, TSG? This is Aces of Super Aces Gaming, aka Lucky Charms, proud member of Camp Life. This is my fourth upload to TSG. I would like to give a huge thank you and shout out to Thunder. It's absolutely awesome that you have this channel and it gives the smaller YouTubers and content creators out there like myself some more exposure, some more views, hopefully some more subscribers. Dunder, you're an absolute legend, sir. Keep doing what you're doing, aka hashtag Thunder to 1 million. <clears throat> So guys, the gameplay you see in the backgrounds on the map USS Heglitch, as Thunder likes to call it, aka USS Texas. And guys, I'm not too fond of this map if I'm perfectly honest. I can rush and crush on this map. I can get into their spawn, I can spawn trap a little bit. But I thought, you know what, everyone on this map seems to like to snipe. So most of the time when I play this map and it comes in rotation, I whip out the standard issue Mountain Division class with the Lee Enfield Sniper, the Ballistic and the FMJ. And I try and snipey snipe because aces can't snipe. I never snipe in any previous Call of Duty guys. And I just wanted to see how the sniping was on this game because I know it's easy. Because you get all them quick scopes and no scopes. So I thought, you know what, I want to see if I can snipe. And this is the sniping gameplay I got. At the weekend during double xp so what i want to talk about guys is this game as a whole call of duty world war 2 what do you guys make of it what are your thoughts and feelings and opinions because for me guys despite all its issues i think base game this is a good game it's what we wanted. We wanted to go back to boots on the ground. We were fed up with the advanced movements of the previous three Call of Duties, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Dog Shit. Because let's be honest, guys, Infinite Warfare was an absolute failure with regards to sales, player, base, people that were playing it. Don't get me wrong, I know there was guys to play it. There was no variation in that game for me everyone runs synaptic the k bar or the mv4 you know for me the saving grace on that game was probably the zombies and i'm not a zombies player i'm a multiplayer gamer and i want to talk about a couple of things with regards to call of duty world war 2 guys and i'd like to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below so for me let's get into one of the main issues and that's connection this previous weekend with the double xp we've had the servers turned off by sledgehammer games and we've been playing on a p2p connection and that's not too bad for me if i game with people in my country but a lot of the time guys i game with a lot of the guys from the us so Generally in on previous games when I Team up with the guys from the US. I'm on a three bar, but with this p2p connection guys. I've been one bar and Not that I've been lagging but I've been dying and not getting kills. I'm just not even getting hit markers. My bullets have just been going through the Enemy it's just not been a pleasurable experience at all. So and for most of the weekend guys I didn't grind World War 2 I sort of stayed away from it because it was just not an enjoyable experience but Call of Duty always ships with issues it's always released with issues but the issues that Call of Duty World War 2 was released with have been absolutely farcical they've been a joke you know the connection issues the headquarters where we're sitting in headquarters all on our own unless we invite people on our friends list it's just not good enough guys i think the headquarters is a nice idea it's a nice social space but it's just been 
ridiculous guys I know everyone's done videos on YouTube with regards to this is probably the worst launch of a Call of Duty game in Call of Duty's life cycle you know it's just not not acceptable guys it really really isn't and then I want to talk about the spawns on this game the amount of times that I've been in the enemy spawn and I've taken out several of the enemy team and I've taken out the last one on the enemy team in their spawn and then I get the enemies still spawning on me the spawns don't seem to flip the amount of times when I've been killed and then I've been spawned in the enemy spawn is absolutely insane you know from what I can remember the spawns on advanced warfare were a little bit iffy and not the way that they should be so for me, I think the spawns need work. I think, you know, when you're pushing the enemy spawn and you're in there and then you've taken out most of the enemy spawn, the, the spawn should flip. <clears throat> so let's talk about the donkey in the room. And that's the snipers, the quick scopes, the no scopes. They need to be nerfed. It's insane how easy it is to snipe on this game because I'm sniping and I can't snipe. It's absolutely ridiculous, guys. And then I want to talk about the maps. Nine multiplayer maps, not including Karen Tan, because that's a DLC map. You know, maybe Activision have gone, okay, let's give them nine maps. Hopefully, we'll get the DLC sales and season pass sales back up because they're down by only offering nine maps. Because these maps are going to get very old, very boring, very, very quick, guys, in my personal opinion. So, you know, it's just, you know, for me, there's only really seven playable maps on this game. This not being one of them, and the other map being Gustav Cannon. So, guys, the gameplay is coming to an end, and this is Aces. And I would like to give a huge shout-out again to Thunder for allowing me to upload to TSG again. Thunder, you're an absolute legend, and this is Aces out. Peace.